delay in payment of the national health insurance claims is crippling activities of some six hospitals in the Volta and Northern regions operating under the Christian Health Association of Ghana, that's CHUG. Some of these hospitals have started laying off staff uh, paid with internally generated funds. Stanley Nibleu has more in the following report. Health facilities supervised by the Christian Health Association of Ghana are in debt. This is because 11 to 13 months period services rendered to the National Health Insurance Authority have not been paid. The Batoa Catholic Hospital is a major referral centre in North Tong districts. It records close to 500 OPD cases daily and provision of good care can be assured. However, the facility is struggling to meet the demands of the patients. Our sources at the hospital say the NHIA owes the facility 13 months arrears from November 2018. The source further indicated the hospital is in death and would consider cash and carry. The Richard Novati Catholic Hospital, formerly known as Komboni Hospital, is one of the two hospitals in the South Thong District. The hospital is highly indebted to 115 suppliers of both medical consumables and non-consumables. Records with the facility show the hospital owes one of the supplier 400,000 cities. 86 of staff here are paid with proceeds from the internally generated funds. The NHIA owes them 11 months claims. Management has not been able to complete projects they have started. The CHAG facilities at Kbandu, Amfuega and Abo in the Volta region face similar challenges. The Evangelical Church Ghana Hospital in Kwandai in the northern region is also in debt due to failure to pay claims. This hospital also has 11 months arrears to be settled by NHIA. Already, 12 staff paid with internally generated funds have been laid off. The northern region has six shag facilities, old claims arrears. Our sources close to CHAG executives indicated that last week the management body of NHIA promised to defray part of the arrears by Friday, January 24, but failed. The affected hospitals say part payment of the arrears would not solve their financial situation because they are heavily indebted to their suppliers. Simon Kweku Amuzu is the Chief Executive Officer of the Bato Hospital. He joins us on the telephone. It's almost a good evening to you. Thank you for your time this evening. I just want to find out how you are coping. The hospital is coping. I mean, now that the NHIS owes you some 13 months of arrears. Uh, we, we are just trying to keep our heads above water. Uh, our IGF is very bad, and uh, we have lots and lots of things doing. Apart from that, we are owing our uh, suppliers, and we are not able to pay them, and some have refused to supply now. And so it's a, a, a difficult situation for us. I see. And have you... Brought the NHIS, at, at the NHIS at, 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 at attention to this. I mean, the National Health Insurance Authority. Please come again. I, I, I didn't hear you. I'm asking if the National Health Insurance Authority is aware of this situation. Yeah. Uh, my administrator reported the issue to the uh, uh, Christian Health Association of Ghana, CHANC. And Charles said they were going to write to NHI on our behalf. And I'm sure they did. And but we have not heard anything from them. I see. Chuck hasn't given you any response from the NHI. No, they said that they have written to NHI. But NHI has not responded. How much is involved i mean we know it's 13 months but how much exactly are we talking about uh if i mention any amount now i'll be lying that is huge 
I see. Uh, we understand that you want to lay off staff because of, of this situation? Uh, it is not a matter of laying off staff. If we should lay off staff, then uh, our quality of service will be affected. And I don't want that to happen. But the issue is, uh, it is not only Bato Hospital that is suffering like this. Some other hospitals in the border region, I know, are also suffering. So the question is, if NHIA is not giving us the money, should we continue serving uh, NHIA's cut bearers? That is the major question. And as a result of this, you want to go back to the cash and carry system, I'm told? Well, if cash and carry will, will bail us out, why not? Samuzu, thank you for your time this evening. Grateful. Simon Kwekwamuzu is a CEO of uh, the Bato Hospital there.